Okay, bye. eating a apple tart that she got from a bakery on the way here. So, what do you think of it? I'm not joking, this is the best apple tart I've had in my life. Really? It's really good, so much apple. Do you know what, if this is warm, this might be the best apple thing I've eaten in my life and I've had a lot of apple things. It needs to be warm though, with custard or something. What's the rating? A 9 out of 10. Oh my god, that's I, a I'm very, serious. It's a very rare All rating. All it needs is a touch of like, cinnamon and to be warm. Unfortunately, Melody and I failed to remember what the patisserie was called. I guess good things only happen once. opinion so far and don't talk about oh um, the apple tarts yeah really I, I knew you were going to say that oh, don't talk so about the apple tart please um, I like ancient Egypt where are the paintings I don't even remember I don't think I saw ancient Egypt when, like, when I last came here like five years ago I'm sure we'll see them on the way I like it I'm looking forward to going to more bakeries getting to the Mona Lisa involved a lot of stairs and Melody would have none of that so I went to see it for myself it was a good thing I got to see the famous painting 15 minutes before the Louvre was due to close. It's smaller than I expected. And Melody, due to exhaustion, has decided to pick another pastry in her bag. This time it's a, what is it? Pistachio and chocolate. Melody was not very descriptive about this pastry. Her mouth was so dry she could hardly taste it. was in Chalifer, an hour-long train ride from the main city and a 10-minute bus ride from Disneyland. Oh, this is so unreal. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're heading to our Airbnb. And Melody's only got 1% on her phone. She's our only beacon of light. If it's gone, then we're doomed. <laughs> okay, it's not the first place to stay for a Paris trip, but our main destination was Disneyland. Being so close to the park, we would have expected the journey there to be easy. It was the next day when we realised how utterly wrong we were. So we are in the middle of the road and we're just like 10 minutes from Disneyland. So we fuck the buses. <laughs> Our bus to Disneyland failed to arrive and after half an hour of waiting, we came up with the worst idea you could possibly imagine. Let's just walk all the way there. And we're just like 10 minutes from Disneyland. Ah. Made it! The first thing we did was meet the Disney characters. It was certainly not my idea. Giggity, giggity. Melody, let's go on a faster ride.
somebody saying this is me. I just need to go to the toilet. Good about bloody time. I've saved my favourite ride for last. God. I just want to say, when I booked the Airbnb, where was the information about any of this? Why didn't they say there was no buses? Or they were like, oh yeah, it's 10 minutes from Disney. No, it's not, because you're waiting for the bus for one hour, so you miss one bus. No, you don't even miss the bus. You're here for the bus, but it's not going the right direction. I don't understand. Why didn't they say this? 18 pound a night for the Airbnb. We didn't even have it to ourselves. The family was staying there. So why didn't they charge us half price? For the noise. And what if we wanted to have sex with each other? Me and you. We couldn't. Because there were other people in the house. No toothpaste. No shampoo. No towel to cover your ass. At least if your ass is as big as she owns it. I don't know whether to be honest on the Airbnb review and say, look, the house fucking stinks of smoke and it's miles away from Disney. Don't lie, you can't walk there. There's no cafe, there's no shop, there's no Sainsbury's, no supermarket. Looks like we're in Paris, it's closer. Because look, now we're stranded. It's a nice Airbnb, like it's nice on the inside. They have like cats and dogs. I like France. Um, but not coming back to this area again. No way. If I want to go to Disney, I'll just stay in Paris, even if it's two hours away. This is the first time that I've stayed anywhere near Paris, but mm. it's... Yeah, I don't like this whole living in the middle of nowhere, especially when I've only got a card, not any cash. I thought the Airbnb was nice. I was a bit scared of the stairs. Like, you could easily <laughs> break your neck on those. Mm. I really love the cat. They're the black cat. Like, he's my best friend for life. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, it was quite uh, tiny. Like, we only had limited space. It's comfy enough. I'm, I wouldn't stay for more than two days, definitely. No. Subscribe to S3. <laughs>